Right. Hello everyone! Sorry, Shirley, she's just cleaning the, the dog shit because this is what she knows how to do the best. So, I'm going quickly to take... First question, is he... Can you see me... Uh, is the quality alright or not? I'm waiting for answers to see if the quality is, is good or not. Just because now I'm going live on the... Not on the wireless because the wireless is not really good at my place. So now it's uh, on my mobile data. So I just want to know if the wireless is good. Yes, yeah, fine. Thank you. I'm just going quickly to grab uh, uh, to grab the um, the schnauzer. Cheryl, we are live. Okay. Just so you know. Come on. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye. 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 They can't see you. Bye, Elio. Bye, Baba. See you at home, my love. Wait, Kushka. So we Kushka, I did, I did, I did, uh, I did a uh, tip training. I'm so disgusted. So it's good that I can do a big job. Right. So this is Kushka. She's a schnauzer, and she is can be really aggressive when you dry her face. She's fine with the legs, but when you dry her face, she really hates the dryers. Um, Sorry about my dog in the background. Right. So, uh, buff. I don't use a hydro buff, so she I'm going to have to be led by Costi here. Right, so I will not use, I will use it as a normal buff, because uh, you can use the hydro buff, but uh, I use the hydro buff when I have like four or five dogs, so it's easier. Uh, so now, uh, when I don't have, when I have just one dog, I would use the old, um, how you call it? How you call this? A jug? A jug, the old jug, yeah? So I like to mix when I have a dog like for competition or even like it's really, really dirty. If it's really, really dirty, I will use a detox. Come on, Kushka, good girl. Uh, I will use a detox mixed with, a, with a, um, a crispy shampoo, yeah? So she's not really dirty because she was buff like a couple of weeks ago. So I normally use Vitality. Uh, because it gives a, a crispy texture on the, on the dogs and also like for terriers, like for dogs, or, or for poodles, for everything that, because I like the crispiness. Yep. You use, what do you use? You uh, use... In my salon, just for day-to-day -day grooming, I will use um, For All Dog Kind um, and I will use a mixture in between the dirty or the two-in-one conditioner. Um, and obviously if the dog got sensitive skin, then I'll use sensitive. But as a rule, we tend to just go with dirty. It really does bring the dogs up really clean and I like the smell of it and I like the finish of it. But again, it's all personal preference. You might try it and not like, they're, they're quite low foam in shampoos. So see, they I... don't foam up massively. And you only need, with, with the shampoo that I use, one pump to um, a mixing bottle. And that, I can make that do a, a small Westie or a Schnauzer. Sometimes you might have to use one and a half. So yeah. if normally she uses mixed bottle. I don't use mixed bottle because I use a jug. The shampoo that I use, uh, I love foam. I really, really love foam. Yeah. So I like to have like a good nice lava in my hand. And I feel that uh, it's cleaner. Uh, I think I use dog kind at the beginning when Maybe. she started. She used to come to the salons and give them more, uh, give us like uh, free samples. Uh, but again, I didn't like it, but it's my preference. I didn't like it because I like a lot of lava, <laughs> and it doesn't. So, so the vi just pop her in a cage. Okay. There, so, so the vitality does a lot of lot of foam, yeah. I see what I've started doing recently. So obviously yeah. I've said I, I, I use wow. Yeah. But I mix up in the jug like you do. Yeah. I, and with the hydro bath, I actually now close the drain. Yeah. I put the shampoo on dry on the dog dry. I give it a quick rinse off to fill with the rinse wash tank up a little bit, and then I re-shampoo them from the wash okay. tank, and then yes. I open it and then I rinse yeah. them, and it's so good. I, I know a lot of people, they wash the dog uh, dry, 
uh, because they said uh, it's a little bit because um, I had someone here they did that so it's like oh if you put the shampoo well with the water you mix it with water and then you put straight on the dog dry will does doesn't dilu diluate dilute, dilute uh, more when the dog is wet so that's why they do they do they put the shampoo uh, they wash twice actually so they put uh, they put uh, first they put uh, on a dry coat then rinse it but then they put a second shampoo on the dog when it's very wet I, so i don't understand because it said dilute i don't i don't have to wash shampoo I them twice yeah. i know but people like as I was, as I was like oh you said that to put the shampoo dry because it dilute but then the second wash actually you put in the dog when the dog is wet already so it's diluted again you know so what you learn and what it's easier for you um so i shampoo put shampoo is a personal preference yes. it really is isn't it yeah, but no, it's like uh, some people they put on a dry coat and some people they put on a wet coat. I, I do it dry. Oh, you do it dry? Yeah, it saves time. There is a, actually a method for it. Um, it's, it's to do with the hair follicles. Yeah, so it, when you have a hydro bath, you can put straight on the dry shampoo, straight on the dog dry, yeah? But when I use a dry, oh, we can use, oh, today we'll put oh, wet anyway. We'll even if I don't do, use the hydro bath, as, a, as the, the wash tank, I would put it on dry anyway because I find it cleans it better. Yeah, yeah. I really do. Well, so I, do. I use a. F um, yeah, we use a, like a loofah. A loofah, yeah. What do you call them? So always I start, first and first, I always start with a dog face. I always start because the more I have the shampoo on the face, the, the cleaner it is. You know, the. See, I don't, I do my face last. Why? Because it's less contact with the eyes. Yeah, but the shampoo is tearless, so it's like a baby shampoo, so it should not damage the eyes at all. Should not. Should yeah. not at all. Okay. So I like it to put straight on the face first, because the, the, more, uh, sh the more time it has on the face, the more the, the chemicals uh, uh, works yeah, better. Yeah, get what you're saying. You know? So I like to use first, you know? And actually, to be honest, yeah, when I use the hydro bath, actually, I put the shampoo in the hydro bath and then I will, I will uh, actually use on the dry coat. And what do you prefer using, Costi? Hydro bath or normal? Hydro, it's easier. Right. So I will do, actually, guys, I will do a hydro. Should I do the hydro bath? Uh, uh, I think also that but if people don't have a hydro bath. Yeah, if you don't have a hydro bath, it, I don't know oh, how many. Sorry, not stop what I was going to say. I was going to say if they don't have a hot, so you've got a hot feed going into the hydro bath. Whereas my feed is cold, yeah. so I want to use as little water as possible yeah. in the shampoo. Yeah, exactly. I my feed that has hot and cold water, so you know. So I always do like a good, good massage. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, D uh, Dawny's saying that she um, does the shampoos the head last as well, Cheryl, because there's less head shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's personal it's, preference. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just how you prefer to do it. See, when a dog shakes, if you just hold it just above its withers, it should stop it from shaking. You can sort of stop it mid-shake. Oh, you have an apron? That's what your profit done. I'm bothered. Yeah, yeah. So all the time when I use a fur, I use my uh, sponge, but then I use my fingers also. I learned this from Cheryl actually, because I used to use, I used to use just the, just the, um, just the scrub, just the scrub. But then I saw her and she said to me, no, the, the more you use your finger, because you can go right into the skin. So now I, I use the foam, but then I will use how she does it. I will use the... I never bath any dog twice in my salon, never. Um, unless obviously, you know, it is caked, caked in mud. It's very rare that we will bath anything twice. It's bath once, bath good enough. Can I tell you one tip? I did the same. About greasy dogs. Yes, I saw that, and that's a really good it's idea. It's so amazing. I, so I saw so something. Holly, this, I stole it. it from someone else. I can't remember who it was now. But I was. I used to be using degreasing shampoos to try and get the grease out. Someone else said, "Do not use degreasing shampoos on a greasy coat because the dog's body is fighting that, and it's it's producing more grease to counteract it. Use conditioner first, and that breaks down the grease." Yeah. Then a normal shampoo, but with, with conditioner in, and then condition again at the end. And over time, the coat gets less and less greasy, and I swear to God, it absolutely We've works. got Westies that have skin problems that are really greasy all down the middle of their back, so I'm going to give that a go. It's honestly, it's, it's a game changer, big game changer. Bums is But really see, I have a conditioner that has, a, they can be a degreased in the shampoo, or conditioner also. Because, you see... Yeah, but if you use a degreasing shampoo... The it's a detox, actually. It's a detox. 
But if you use degreasing anything, the body fights it. And honestly, because the amount of times I used to have, like here, I used to have dogs that had really greasy coats and I would shampoo well, them over too, and over yeah. again. But they still had the grease when I was trying to, to, to work on them. It was horrendous. I don't know. Honestly, I never heard that shit before. It makes, honestly, it makes, it might, yeah. It's honestly a massive, massive But what conditioner? Like a proper conditioner? Like a normal conditioner or yeah, what? Yeah, like, oh, like no. I, I used um, Banish. And then I, I, I might use, like, finish off with Glide after the shampoo. Okay. Um, I think I might have even used Banish with the shampoo and then Glide afterwards. And it, seriously, and I think it also, because it, it, because grease is oily, the conditioner actually gets, Soaks it removes up. it more, yeah. Well, I will use the detox conditioner, I'll see how it is, or the mask one. Just okay. Try it. So right, so done. you see, we butter, we use the sponge, and then also we use the, our fingers, yeah? The more you use your fingers, because you can touch and you can breathe right close to the skin, yeah? With the foam, with this, you don't actually go right. So I used to do the same, I used, I used to use just this, but I'm using my hand also, yeah? Holly, can you repeat that again, please? So, a little bit. Can you start to once again? Okay. So, uh, to show that. What do you want? To do that. Right, so with the gre uh, with greasy dogs, yeah. I, s I swear to God this works because I tried it after I'd heard it. You use you use a conditioner, and that starts. To <laughs> yeah, not that one. Any conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> this one. You'd use a conditioning product, and then um, and and get it all worked in, rinse it off, and then use your shampoo. But but use your normal shampoo, something that's a conditioning shampoo, and then pop a conditioner on again, rinsing off every time, obviously. Um, oh. Do you seal the inside of the ears with cotton? No, I no, 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 no. Unless the owners request it. Yeah, I never do. No. My worry with cotton in there is if, if it gets wet, it's going to Finish your question and then we'll talk yeah, about sorry. cotton. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so you do that and then um, and then I even spritz a little bit, a light spray of like glide over the top. And uh, I a light glide is a conditioner, like a yeah. light conditioner. Yeah, like, like vanish spray. Or like or... mix. Yeah. It's another conditioner. But yeah, so, but using that product first, it just helps to break down the grease and it means that the dog's um, natural response isn't to produce more and more grease. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> Right, um, right, now we talk about the cotton water, uh, uh, or just if the customer will require, I never do that, I never put, I never block only, the yes. Some customers say, Vets say, can you put cotton wool down because he's had ear problems, it's to prevent. Um, no, I don't. It, I've done it before and I've forgotten to take the cotton wool out and the dog's gone home and they're like, oh, you've left the cotton wool in the ears. I don't do it, if the dog's got a real bad ear infection, don't groom the dog, send it home, it needs to be treated at the vet. Um, until the ears clear, then it can come in because you're never going to guarantee that you're never going to get water down the dog's ears. So I don't, yeah, I don't do it. Um, I don't see the point. Right. So now you rinse it. Like yep. depends. I always rinse again. I rinse the body and the, I'll leave the head the last. But again, preference you rinse like. I do head first. She does head first, you so know. I shampoo head last, rinse head first. But That's again, it. I do see method in the way that you do it. So. Yeah. And also the dog is not so stressed because you do the body first and then you the last the head, you know, so the dog is a little bit uh, 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 less stressed, you know, I'm if you do the, I if I do the last, this is how I was taught at the women's school, you know. <laughs> she, the girl. Kushka, good girl. So, she's funny with the water on her head. No, she's fine, she's fine. She's looking a bit funny at the novel to me. Oh, I'll probably get there. So I choose this dog because I wanted to see like how we handle like a, a little bit aggressive dog, you know? She's really good on the bath, on a dry, on a, on a table when you groom her, but she really hates the dryer. And the bath. But I think 90% of the dogs, they hate the bath, don't they? No? Yep. So always keep one hand on the dog, it's just a little bit reassuring to them, really. See, that's why I like the high water, the power of the water yeah. is amazing. Did you do the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still dry, aren't you? I did scrub the bum, unlike you. I scrub the bum. Well, I pull poo off a bit. Uh, you scrub it that well. You can eat it. If you're hungry. It's disgusting. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> right, head. Head. So I always, you see, I go with a low volume on the, on the head. Oh, how do you do that? See, I want to go in the photo. And what I do also, when I have a dog that's like crazy, I put quite close to the head. Yeah. You see how she does it? So the dog doesn't have that pressure in the face. Oh, squirting in his face. Nice and smooth across his... Oh, all right, darling. 
Can you see how lovely I am? I take all the hair from your face. Thanks. Good girl. And go. also, guys, it's very important to talk with the dog. Like, when good she's girl. well behaved, you say good girl. When she's not, you say no, stop, you know? So it's all important yeah. the language good that you talk girl. with them, you know? My favorite one of Costi's is to say, Who do you think you are, American? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you are, in America? Like, come on, stop it. But now it's very good to, to tell them positive when they're good and negative when they're bad. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important. Like if she's you have really a good. At... Dog really slowly. Exactly. Good there girl, go. Pushka. Well good girl, Baba. Good girl. Obviously, don't don't up the face because you're going to squirt it up the dog's nose, and then they'll start going. So all is from the back. All is from the back. <laughs> Could you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> My theory did work there. Yes. Right, so now when you dry it, it's very important that the more you dry the towel, the easier and the faster you dry with the, with the clippers. With the clippers. <laughs> with the dryers. So I used to use these towels. And now. I've used these, I've got these in the salon. And you now. These and the orange ones. I use this one. Oh my god, I didn't. I was like, they're so tiny there. But actually, it's life changing. Like, the amount of water that comes from these towels and you dry them so quickly is ridiculous. So, this is a. Uh... These are like a chamois, mm. but this is actually like if anybody's got the aqua coats. Aquasorb, yeah. yeah Aquasorb, that's well, what these are like. I was going to say, I said to Costi like two, three so years good. ago about these and he didn't listen to me. No, and now he's really found good. Artero, that's yeah. it. These are, yeah, these are from Artero, they're eight pounds, they're not really, really oh, expensive. I thought that was really, really reasonable. They're really cheap. But also, I, I use them for lots of dogs and I put them to 30 degrees on the, on the wash machine and I wash them daily. Um, I, will, I will wash, I will dry with this a couple of dogs. Uh, I will not dry with him. If I have a dog that has skin problems, I will just put him in the wash, you know? But I will wash with like a couple of dogs if they have skin yeah, problems. Yeah, rinse them out. I will rinse them with, I will dry this. Do you know what then? But look, Sophie it's so good. Water up it's already. so that water is really, that really, really Sophie. good. Sophie right. used to, that where she used to work, she had a bucket with Milton in it, and the towels used to go in there in between. Yeah, dogs, I know when you have, I, I have then this. So what I no, do because no, so no, Milton. no, a bucket with Milton's, which is so like, it's a, like um, a sterilizer. Yes, it sterilizes. Ah, that's so clever. It just sits in the bucket. Then you rinse it off, wring it out, and then you can use it on the next dog, and then wash it at the end of the day. I like yeah, that idea. That's yeah, a good so idea. We're half down. I'm gonna just wring it out. But you have to get the right Milton because there's different types Christ, for different there's dogs. There's loads. Fabric Milton, you get. That's it. I need to get um, some. My God. It's taken loads of water out that dog. Like, and look at the amount of water, and impressive. now they're really dry. Like, really, they're really good. I am in love with this dry. And like I said, now I will save all this money, because this is like, well, I think it's like 15 quid, 20 quid, something like that. And this is eight pounds. And for big dogs, for small dogs, they're really, really good. The towels are Artero. You can also get Aquasorb towels. I'm sure there's other brands as well. Yeah, yeah, are, this, yeah these are the Artero the ones, of course. They're but, not Aquasorbs. I use the, the... But the one that Holly sorry. used, you said that it's... I think you're right. I think I've been washing it too hot. Okay. So they have to be 30 degrees. My mom actually washed them at 40, 45, but they're still in really good quality. You know, yeah. I wash them like for I do the want past three, four months and they're still really good, you know? I, I uh, have to say, that's my first time using them and I really like them. So did I'm you gonna hear? Some. She really likes them. They're mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. <laughs> don't feed into his ego. No, well, I don't <laughs> normally, but these are good. They are very, very good. They are very good. Okay, they are so now ready for the last Yeah. Right, so we finished her. Now we'll go and put it on the table. Actually, I should mention that those towels need to be kept damp all the time. Yeah, these towels actually need to really be like damp. I, I have like a bowl of water, so once I finish, I put them in the water. Okay. Um, but I think you can use them for dry also anyway, if they wet. Right, so come on, Pushka. Hi, hi, hi. So Pushka hates the dryers. Wait. Here, defenders on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> right, so, you know I said before um, that it's very important of course, the safety of the dog, and then it's very important of the heads, yeah? So... Huh? Yeah, wait, wait, I didn't, I didn't start the... What other heads do we have? So we have the... Uh, I'll show you now. So what I like with this dryer... 
Right, so this is our little black M2. You see, I have him here in the stand and also on the stand. But we talk about now on the wall. So I have, they come with three heads, yeah? This is, oh, this is a same bloody head. So, so where's your other? Can you take that from it's there? It's in there, I put it back oh, in. Oh, no, it's here, sorry, it's sorry. No, this one. Right, so we can see there are three different heads. Round? So what do you want? I use round for poodles, for poodles everything. And uh, I Bichon. like that, yeah. And any curly Curry. coat dog. Yeah, any curly coat. But with this one... Well, I would also use that for double coats as well. So what normally they do this is so they, go, they don't go matted, no? Yes. This is what I knew, yeah. no? Yeah. So they use this so they don't go matted, you know? When you have a curly coat and you use like a, this one, you can go, the, the coat can go matted. Uh, so that's why this is like for curly, curly coat. Uh, this is for day-to-day -day dogs, yeah? Because the, when you use this, it has very, very, very small... Uh, um, Nozzle. Nozzle, yeah, so it's really powerful. And this is when I dry... Uh, of course, a dog bitten, you can see that. So it's more uh, but to stray the coat, like I use for spaniels, for dog's ears, for, for, for my carry, for, 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 for the fox terriers, fox terriers for the going, jacket. I'm my God. Down a, a yeah. fox's but for the back, it's really, really good. Would you use that for the whole dog? Or would you I use... can use that for the whole dog. The only thing is, like, because it has the muzzle is much wider, it doesn't have the more power uh, compared yeah, with this one. The power, so you lose the power. This one has more power, so this is really, really good for like uh, Malamutes and anything with a double coat um, and for lifting a poodle's coat. You could still use these on poodles because you'd... It, yeah, you, know, you, can, you, nice you can. I use this also for the poodles finish. straight that, you know, when you straight the, the jacket. But each nozzle has a purpose. If you're interested, that's what their purposes are. Yeah. But you can use one nozzle for, for yeah. all. It's just this but will make this your is life the easier. universal. This is like when I straighten the hair, yep. and this is like for poodles and like that. But I will use this also for poodles. You know, after I finish this one, I'll use this to straighten the coat. You know, so I make a straight coat. Oh, another one to make us jealous. Elizabeth just said uh, she has the most amazing neighbour. She told us she had a very important webinar and wasn't going to be available for anyone. And she's just delivered her the most amazing Sunday dinner to her doorstep. Oh, feels great to be watching, so learning, so laughing, and eating. What else could I, I possibly starving. ask for? I am starving. Oh, look at that. Stop it. <laughs> Sexual harassment. Can we get on with this? Right, right. So, I will use on the Kushka. On the Kushka. I will use uh, the universal one. And then, I will use the straightener for the, for the face. And... Uh, for the you legs, I can use for the legs. Can I just mention something I learned about when you're drying to help straighten the coat behind you? So I used to dry a bit haphazard and all over the shop when I first started. And then I went to a seminar where um, we were told to go from the back end of the dog to the front end. And at first I couldn't get it. But if you go from the front end forwards, you leave like a wavy pattern in the coat behind you. Whereas if you're pointing the nozzle towards the back end you're of the dog... You're always blowing that line out. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're blowing it straight behind you as you come from the tail to the front. So always work from back to front with the dog. And then vice versa with the head, you go from the top of the head towards the nose. So you're not blowing into the face. All right, so like I said, Kushka really hates the dryers. The old phone should mute the... I think, will it automatically mute the blaster sound. Really? So. so I will use, uh, because she hates the dryer, so guys, I use this for every single dog, it, not just for Kushka, but these are really brilliant. Um, I used to have the happy hoodies before. This, they call called different. This is from Lucky. And this is lovely. I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> they can't hear me. I know I wear these all the time when I'm with Kosti. <laughs> uh, so this, I used to have this. These are a happy hoodie. The only thing you see, they stretch in the wash. The stretch. Is this one from Lucky? Yeah. So this is oh, from like I have this here for a year. I have the same here, but you see this is like already stretched. But this has a good elastic here uh, and on here also. So the doesn't matter how much you wash them, they still uh, last. I have this like well a year, a year and a half I think, but they're really really good. You know. So because she hates the dryers, sometimes when a dog I hates and he tries to bite, I will cover the full head. If, like her, she would bite, so I will I'll maybe take a longer, a longer one, just to cover the full head. Sometimes I can use two. But do you also find, I find, if a dog doesn't like his head being dry, um, that will absorb some of the moisture. Yeah. So that when this you come is, to the head, yes. Yeah. This is made also to absorb, absorb the, yeah. 
the moisture. So then when you come to dry the hair, that's done half the job for you. Yeah, so you see I put two because I know and I want to save my hands also, yeah? So because without hands I can make more. So I'll cover, she still can breathe, yeah? Plenty of time to breathe, but I know she will not be bothered at the moment with the dryers, yeah? Another thing that I like to do, because when I do like a seminar and I want a full leg, I will use, I will use some foam on the legs. Right, okay, mousse. Go. Oh, it's a mousse. Right, maybe it's like this, so she can see at the beginning. That's it, maybe just move it over her face when you get to it, yeah. you know you're going to get to it. It's a good look. So mm -hmm. this gives texture, volume and lift. And volume and lift. So I will use it on the legs, before I dry. And it won't leave a residue on the dog either. Yes. But there's lots of yeah. different brands that you can use. But that, what is this one Zoom? So this is Zoom from Artero, but you can uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Christensen Chris have. Christensen. And also, uh, it's the same thing, yeah? Yeah, I like the coat dress in Chris Christensen. So I'll put on all the legs. And it's good if you have a dog with like a limp coat, you know, uh, like a cockapoo with a silky, floppy coat. Oh. That's really, really good, because that will also give you the lift that you need. And a nicer finish. Would, would it work on something like with a drop coat, you know, your key or... Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It'll yeah. help to it. style it into place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Or even like a Westie as well, if you're yeah. using a pet I coat. use it for my fox terriers when I do the legs also. No. I have a video actually that I made um, of using a, a product like this on a cockapoo and the after picture. So I'll post that onto the page mm. so that they can see that on a different breed what it does. Right, what's up with this? We can put also on, a little bit on the beard. Oh, that's the smell of that. Mm, it's nice, it does smell really nice. Can I? Oh, can I use it around the muzzle? Yeah, Costi's yeah, just I'm doing just, that now. Yeah, I'm using the muzzle now. And I use it on the eyebrow also. Fabulous. Actually, it's important when you're drawing the, the face, it's, when I said about pointing to the nose, it's also important for the eyebrows, you dry them in the direction you want them to, to sit yeah. for when you're scissoring. Everything, shut up. Everything you're doing when you're drying, you're trying to prep the dog for when you're going to work with it later. Quiet or I'll shake your later. beard off. Later. Later. Try, try only... I can't see someone's texting me. It's a little annoying because you know Can I, I put this... Muscle? No, it's on, on a private message. I think I put this web. But that can that can wait, can it? Yeah. Private yeah. Well, no, Sorry, but I think she wants to enter the webinar. But yeah, but it's too late for the moment. They have to just rewatch it. Can't keep stop starting. Yeah. Right. That's all done. You can actually, if you um, if you have if the dog is really wet, you can use also a little bit of conditioner. This is a you have um and I, I don't know so this is a uh, mix so you have like glide and the fast dry i have amazing i use amazing tricks she's using amazing tricks. i use uh, ma uh mix because it has its conditioner and fast dry yeah mm. do you have to mix so that or it comes already no done? it comes already come already bottle i just shake it you know and it's mixed uh conditioner I and fast dry it, so it's two now so it's easier because you know i don't to buy two products yeah i have one I like the idea of that. Yeah, me yeah, too. Right, I when I started it grooming, smells good too. It smells good. Every, all the products they smell good. I don't mind it. So when I started the uh, grooming, uh, uh, my first three years I never used this, and now all my students they wear them because I have problems with my ears, so I always wear this. That's, yeah. That's why he shouts all the time. He that's why I shout, himself. yeah, because I can't I just hear spray anymore. I into the ear, nose, and throat, and I have lost a significant part of my hearing because I've never used these for 23 years. Occasionally I use them, but yeah, now I'm half deaf in this ear. So it's very important. Normally also, you should also, when you, when you uh, uh, groom, you should have a mask because it's good for your lungs, but I can't because I, I suffocate, but you should wear a mask also. Like Holly, you'll see Holly, she never grooms without a mask. She always has a mask, so it's a good idea. Yeah, uh, definitely. But I can't, I, I, this is how I told you, don't wear a mask, oh, do you? No. Well, I do now because obviously working in the cellar with COVID, Yeah. I do. But it's a good idea if you can use a mask when you groom a dog, because all the hair, the tiny hair goes right Look, into your yeah. lungs, like now, you see? So it's good. Ear defenders for your ears and, and uh, ask, yeah? Everything so, that can help. Sorry, Elizabeth just asked, yes, it is mixed Artero. Yeah, it's mixed, it's from Artero. Okay, yep. Right, so now I'll have the normal one. 
No, he's going to really shout because he's got his ear defenders on as well. Sorry, I have that, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this one comes with a uh, hot and very, very hot. So, we'll use just the hot one. And has different, like, the, from the mic, uh, mi different velocity. Volume. Velocity, meaning to the, to the highest. So, I always start with the minute. So, prepare the dog. See, she knows. Already. She already knows. So, I cover the face because I know she will buy me. Yeah? So, I do like my hands. Uh, I always start. So what I do, I take all the ha all the water. First, I go quite close to the skin. The the drier it becomes, I lift my muzzle from the skin. Yeah. So at the beginning, no, when it's really wet, no, so. melt off. Not your when it's when it's wet, I go really close, and the the drier it becomes, the higher the further away you put. further away I be I go. Yeah. and it's an M2 so you can switch you can buy um, a stand with it uh, which also comes with a, a, a stand dry nozzle as well so it's quite a nice dryer it's good if you want to buy yourself you have a, a neck nose uh, a belly strap oh, there is. a belly strap <laughs> and you can uh, you can put on the half of the body, yeah, so it doesn't fall off. You're welcome.
saying, and if he stood there and he suddenly get a wasp with the dog's bum and he's blasting it at you, it's disgusting. <laughs> working with a child. Up blasting the bum smell towards people. Oh, yeah, smells. I always, when I blight the bum, I, bright, uh, I blow towards the people here that's here yeah, that's so they can smell it. That's if why I went to work on my own. Properly, huh? If you bath the dog properly, you won't have a smelly bum. Well, you wash the bum, you remember? Yeah. So why well, it has a smelly bum? It hasn't. You have. Uh, it has. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God. What did you say? Don't know. Just, don't worry. Right, so. Head. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the blaster, please? It's an Artero blaster. Artero Black M. Oh, you've done M that one. Oh, okay. M2. 2M. 2M, sorry. Right, so face. I said M2. She really, really hates when you do the face. Yeah, so what I do, I grab her muzzle. Good girl. And I always, always, even like any dog, I come from the back. I never come from the front of the, of the, of the face, yeah? Because they don't like when you have, you don't like when you blow your, your, and your face. So all the time it's from the back, yeah? So we're going to go with a low volume. Good job. Is this dog better with the dryer, sand dryer? No. Okay. Let's see how it's going. And on the, on the, on the, uh, uh, on the eyebrows, okay, push up, push up. On the eyebrows, I go. Oh, I can't see ya. So he's blowing the eyebrows, eyebrows down. Can you bring down? Close the. Right. So you want the eyebrows actually to go down, yeah. So all the time come from the back, down, yeah. Can you take the phone? Take the phone. There. Yeah, how I did it, and then turn it like this, okay. and then you can see what I'm doing. It's a lot of responsibility, Wait, this. Which can start, please? So I brush this, and then this down, and then the muzzle again down. Yeah, because I don't want, I don't want the, uh, uh, how do I call it? Uh, the muzzle to be like uh, which sticks oh, you out. Want it, yeah, you, yeah, you want, want it straight. You have to think that a schnauzer has a square face, yeah? So the square, you don't want like uh, sticking out from the beard. So the, the, the dry, the, uh, 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 the straighter the beard is, the better. Good girl. <laughs> and you see how I said positive? She was quite a good girl. So I said, good girl. And then she know. Actually, what she does at the moment is really good. It's how he talks to his staff as well, if we're lucky. What? It's how you talk to the staff as well, if we're lucky. I'm always lucky. So I make it like I'm, I'm a horrible person. You are a horrible person. Right. I'll do the ears. So I put, I put my finger where the ear canal, and I do the inside. It's so important. I've seen so many... Uh, inexperienced people blasting and without any thought for the dog's ear and how painful it must be. Right, so put my finger where the ear canal and blast it. It's better like this. Yeah. Good girl. I put actually, sometimes I put my, my whole... Yeah. The uh, heel of your hand, yeah. yeah. You don't want air into the ear. But also you want that ear to be clean, dry, yeah? 
straight points at the full tail to be dry. That's why I go with the lowest volume on the dryer. Push that. Come here. Now. So I do this with schnauzers, but with like a teddy bear face, I would blow from underneath the chin as well to I always come from the back. Always come from the back. I never go in the front of the dog. Always. No, not from the front, from the back. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But yeah. blowing it upwards. Yeah. Just to get some lift for later. Like you're doing there, actually, Costi. Yeah. She's doing very good. Yeah, she's a good girl. Come on, Good girl. Mother is really happy. So, put my finger, cover again the ears and out, and over the side. And then over the corners. Right, so this is, uh, we finished with the dryers. We stand now with a standing dryer, yeah? Because you want to straight that. So we left the coat a little bit damp, yeah? So because she's matted it on the face, she has really mats on the face. Oh, um, I will demat the face. You want, actually, you want three of mats and a straight pair, yeah? Yeah. So, what I would say is, yeah. stop. Do the head so they can see how you put the head. Okay. And then, because otherwise we're going to, they've got to watch the whole, unless they want to watch the whole prep area. The whole do you want to watch the whole thing, guys, or do you want us to take a break once Costi's done the beard? Okay, no, we'll just do the beard and, and, and the, the half of the legs, and then we can take a break and okay. give quickly the other so we don't ask them what they want to do. Yeah, well, I, I just did. What do you want, guys? Right. So, th this is a small dematting brush that I have. Earlier was uh, the big one. So this is the small size of the of the brush. Um, I'll have a comb, but also I have a straightening uh, brushes for straightening the hair. Yeah. So I'll use the dematting first. Cheryl, can I switch the phone? I just thought I need to check and see if my dog's on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put in a half the beard. Because I put the mix on, on the beard, it has conditioner already. And you see I brush also the eyebrow, because I want the eyebrow to go So he wants to down. set the eyebrow in that yeah. direction. Exactly. And I want the beard to set in this direction, yeah? I don't want that, or so he's I want in the front. Or the beard here. Sorry guys. So he's worked on that mat with the brush and now he's going through with a comb. And then I'll use a, a straightening curl. And this is what you want, you want a straight, straight beard, yeah? And I'll do the same on the other side. Holly, can you call Pushka please, the owner, because she called me on my Facebook uh, and tell her that we just started her. She said she has a missed call Tell her that we call her, we call her when she's done, yeah? On the landline. So I will be mad first, so she has place it. When I, when I check with the, with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the comb, I don't go like crazy. I'll go slowly, yeah? So I can see, but it's kind of paper sometimes. And I take my... Uh, mat in my hand, and I will brush it out with my hand. You see my finger is here? And I will brush the mat into my finger. I said 
Lisa, my ear, my eye front, yeah? I always wash, wash, brush it in this direction, yeah? Down. So you blow them downwards and outwards. Yeah. And then it's easier for you also when you do the eye brush. It's so easy. Right, legs. Do you brush it up? I always draw it upwards, yeah. Normally, yeah. Do it like this. Because it will give you the lift. She has a very, very fine coat as well, this dog. Yeah, really fine, like, typical pet smell. It's come from the other side. I always check, yeah, the skirt. The armpits, because you always have mats into the armpits. You need to go quite close to the skin on your brush, so you know that you straighten the hair from the skin out. See, I would always brush up. I don't know, like this, no? But the thing is, I want this to go down. So if I brush him up, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, because you have, you want to have this down, you know? Yeah. You can brush the top because you want to set up a little. This pop and this foot, yeah. Yeah. You want to but uh, here, I don't want him up. What's your thoughts about if you go again? So when you're blasting, you go with the direction the hair is being blown. So you have to think, this is not going to have the hook is set up up. So you want to have this yeah. higher, yeah? So, so you. Just, I mean, with the fluff dryer, the way it, it separates the hair, yeah. you go with the, the direction that well, the hair is uh, being blown. Cheryl said that she goes up like this, you see? Yeah, I would lift that bottom. It's just, I saw, it was actually when on Pooch Perfect, one of the groomers said that you don't go across the, the way it's being blown because you can actually damage the hair as you, you can snap the hair. What? I just wondered what your thoughts were. Say again, say again. If you go, so the hair's being separated here, but if you were to go across there, yeah. or across there, you could actually break the hair because it's going against where it's being blown. So, it's like this, so if I go like, well, like this. That might be the case if there's a mat in it, but if there's no mat in it, I yeah, don't exactly. think it would make any difference. I was just curious because I saw it on there. Right, so this is done. Good go. And then I will move my belly strap on now on this side. And I know she can't escape. A little look around Custy's bathroom area. Oh, don't look, it's not done yet. I think it's very nice, Custy. No, it's not. You're I like the lovely. fact that you I know. I like that you have your stand dryers in this area too. Do you, do you like it's it all out of the way. Did Costi paint that door? No, my uncle. Does, does your uncle need glasses? It looks like a shanty town, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I must remember to get his uh, telephone That's number color, so That's that he can come and do some decorating for me. Why are you doing the fucking... says the picture's not very good. Okay, uh, it's because of because we're in the bathing area, yeah. Um, 
It's because the Wi-Fi is lower in here. Maybe, should we take a break as you've done one side and then um, come back when we've got the Wi-Fi in the other room? Yeah. Yeah, so we say 10 minute break? No, no, Better no, no. Wi-Fi. no, we go now. We go on break. Oh, we'll go now, okay. You can actually, because I finish anyway. Uh, you can go with the stand next door and I'll come in a minute. The stand? Oh, it's this. Stand. You can also, then, if you want, uh, because uh, guys, this is all done. I will just show you a little bit uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi, and then you can explain what you do, and I will come and I will explain what I do with the schnauzer. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This is like Fort Knox. I know you want to go, don't you? Right. Sorry, guys, two seconds. So it's going to try and reconnect now. Sorry, two seconds, guys. Done? Is that better for you all? Okay, so we're going to get Costi prepped up, or whoever's going to trim this one, prepped up. I'm going to presume that that is a 7F. Is it a 7F? Uh, yes, it'll be a 7 So, we're going to be using a 7F, possibly a 10 or a 15 for the outside of the ears, 40 on the inside of the ears, 40 on the inside of his ears, 40 on the inside of the ears, um, yeah, and a 10 or 15 on the head and throat, down on flat work. Yeah. And then just sit at the rest. Fabulous. So you should be down with this dog any second. So just have to bear with us. Do you want to talk about products that aren't on Sarah whilst he's not oh, here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not. So, obviously, Costa uses um, the mix, which is a um, conditioning spray. I like to use Amazing Tricks. I really love this product. Um, it's light. It lifts the coat really well. It doesn't leave a residue. Um, it is my favourite go-to product. What's your... What do you use? Well... I use well, yeah. I use well. I use this. Um, what other products do we use? The Costi doesn't. I use the. I, I mean, I'm, I'm well through. So through. I have to say, um, I do like the protein, the Artero protein. I've used that on my own hair before. <gasps> I really love. Good. And the keratin is nice. I love yeah. using the wild stuff in my hair. And actually, I, they, unfortunately, I don't have a, a, con, a conditioner that I'm aware of. I apologise if I'm wrong. But uh, apart from the spray, I love using Vanish and oh my, I can't stop I've never tried hair. Vanish, never tried it. I so should, my, I'll give it a go. I'm really bad at switching products. I find something I like and just tend to stick with it. I mean, I use it on my own hair. I love it on my own The only thing the that, of it's um, why I like, not, because I used to, I use, I use, um, uh, what's his name? I used uh, protein before I was ambassador for Artero. Mm. The only thing why I like with, uh, with the protein, or the keratin, or even oh. the mask, Sorry. they don't need to be rinsed. Yeah, so that's why I like the products, these products. They don't need to be rinsed. Okay, so this product, sorry, the one that I recommend, my scissor spray, is Amazing Tricks by Designer Dogs, which you can get from Christie's Direct. It's re really, really good. Um, I really like it. I think we should... Maybe I'll do what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll you do, do a leg. Darling, it's not with a this. You do a leg webinar. with that. It's a, it's a and, and then webinar. we can see what what one. Right, I'm just well, saying. Well, I, I did, listen, it's just my go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'll so, what I've said to the girls, we're going to do a 7F on the body. Yeah. Either a 10 hand. or a 15 on the head. Right. You do. So what I do, because I'm a lazy person, I and reverse. I, want, I reverse the seven, so I don't need to change. It's the, I will, when I will do my hygienic carrier, I will so do I my... Would, I would do the same, I would reverse yeah. the seven. So when I do my hygienic carrier, I will do the ears with blade 10. Yep. I will, when I do my pads, I will do inside of the ears also. Yep. You know? So while I have that, I don't need to change the blade from seven to 10, no, I will go idea. reverse. When you're doing that, how do you protect the eyebrows from... Well, what do you do? Well, it's here, and yeah. you can feel the... Uh, the the the, bone. the eyebrow bone, you know? Oh. That's my client. Oh. So, where's the tippers? Right, so, I use pads, or for pads, and...
Oh my god. Uh, oh, this is not working. What do you mean it's not working? <laughs> it's working. Don't listen to her. She's horrible. <laughs> what does scissor spray actually do? I'm quite new to the brim. Oh, right. So the scissor spray will um, help the comb glide through the, the coat a lot easier. It will lift and hold the coat in place whilst you scissor it. So that's basically a scissoring spray. So... This is the one that she has similar, but I think yours also like a conditioner, is it? Yeah, that's, it's, con it's, it's like a, an all-in-one, really. It's conditioned. So it's an all-in-one? It's, uh, it's like a, a demat. You can use it to demat. You can use it for dematting or for scissor spray. Is it anti-static? Yes. So it's anti-static also. This is the version of Atero one, uh, but that's the same thing. Uh, so but, would you use this as a scissor spray? Yeah, this, oh. is, this is actually a scissor spray. So I'll use this as a scissor spray. So it spray. just gives you a really, really nice crisp Cut, really, the the coat is why wet a little bit, you know, so yeah. lifts the hair and will stay in the position that you want to scissor. It's like a setting spray. Yeah. So we have. I will do my ears first. You clip outside. I'll clip outside and hope that we have the same. Yeah. Um, come on, Pushka. Good girl. So you're doing that on a forty? Yeah. Yep. I'll use the, the, the lowest, the number one. Pushka, can you hold the herbie at this? Yes, it's because there's a client in the reception. But also, they don't actually really like when you put the inside of the ears. Yeah, some dogs are funny, but... So, they... I try to take... So, you don't plug ears, do you? I don't plug ears. I plug just if the customer requires. I don't like to plug, so, but I will go like quite short. Whereas I do plug ears, if the dog is comfortable with it. Oh, the dog is never comfortable with it, is it? Some dogs are. Yeah. I beg to differ, yeah. Some dogs don't let an eyelid. So I go quite short. I do find schnauzers are worse behaved. So you know, when you clip the inside of the ear, you know you have this flap. Yeah, so when... It's I... like a double flap, isn't it? So yeah. So I always skin. go down, down. The follow the shape of the ear, yeah? Always the, the have hair. your finger underneath the ear lever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, I always have my fingers on the ear lever. And tip outwards. You see, right. even now, you see my fingers are here. But I, at the beginning, I used to cut this all the time. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I think we're all guilty of probably cutting that piece of ear yeah. at some point. So yeah, so I think, in my opinion, uh, plugging the ear is actually a vet thing because it's an internal um, uh, hair that we groomers, we should not be bothered with that, you know, because if they get infected, who will blame or blame the groomer, yeah? So I, in my opinion, no, I ear plugging, agree. they should Since be... I've done it for so long yeah, with my clients. Well, you've always clicked them before, but... If I could get out of doing it, I would, because it's a pain in the backside. Cause, yeah, exactly. And the, dog know, is, the majority of dogs don't like it. Doing exactly. It, so I'm now only doing the dogs that do let me do it. Okay, so I've cleared as much of that hair away inside of the ear as possible. And he's now got a nice clean... Yeah. Right, so can you do the pads? I can't do the pads from my side. I always do the pads from that side. Yeah? Yeah, let me... Ready? Wait. So, lift the dog's leg in a natural position. Open the foot, so splay the pad slightly. Scoop. You see, I can't do this how you do it. Scoop. Why? The position how you have. I can't do it in this position. I find it comfortable. And then you can just, with your fingers, splay it slightly more. And just go in. Okay. So you have to expose all that pad, guys. Yeah? The more you use the scissor, the easier it will be your, with your... Uh, the more you use your blade, the easier it will be with the scissors, yeah? So that's a nice clean foot. Yeah, this is what you want to achieve. 
I always go also, I cut a little bit from here, all of this. Mm, like so like I put a little, little bit, because it's easier. Yeah, like that, you see? Just a small amount, you don't yeah. want to go mad on that side. No, 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 just, yeah. Because then you'll, you'll expose the pads better. Scoop. You see, again, for me, it's so Scoop. uncomfortable. Yeah, but she's look at she's standing there looking towards the front end of the dog. I think normally. Yeah, you can do the same. Facing the bum. No. Yeah, hold this. Oh. So when I do it, so you see how uh, can you see how her position it is? You see her position. I always start. I always do them from here. I put my dog closer to me, and I do it like this. Oh God, no. See. So I can't. I, I don't know why. I do, yeah, I can't do that. You see. I'm quite so interested to see me. what you just did, actually, Cheryl. I think that was quite... Um... I think it's just whatever you're comfortable Yeah, exactly. With. That's what I said. I can't, if I do like this, it's and so... How do you do the fronts? The front the same. I'll bring it towards me. Yeah, like that. 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 Yeah, like Next. Oh, there we go. We're back. We're back. Have you got us, everyone? Sorry, it dropped out a little bit. We were just comparing positions. Is it on? So yeah, my position is always like this, and also when I do that, or I move here. Oh no, so I couldn't do that. Like this. Go the other or side. I do like this. Sorry, Louise. Hopefully, it's come back now. Can you do the? So I pull with this finger. I pull this the finger. You see, with these two fingers, this. Yeah, I use the for this one, and I use for this one. Yep. God, she's really matted inside. You know, years ago, we never used to do this. We used to do it with scissors. Wait, oh yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So it scares me, the thought of using scissors yeah. down there. Well, it wasn't without this accident. So what then when you had like mats? Yeah, you'd have to cut them out. I'd have to really? Them. Oh, yeah, but we would use small scissors. Oh, okay. Right, so this is what we do with a, with a small trimmer. And then I'll take my blade pen. And I'll do my hygienic area and I'll do my ears, yeah? So I go exactly where the ear starts. So, but why did you not switch to a template on your trimmers? I oh it. yeah, I do that, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I like a schnauzer ear to be really, really clean, yeah? yeah. Really, a terrier, he's a, they're not terriers, but, but they're in, in America, the class is a terrier. In America, so a terrier oh, yeah. should be really clean. You cannot have stuff sticking out from the. I have bloody headache. Where's though. the best signal? Because I've got a. Um, people, so oh, Louise yeah, has said it's dropped out oh, at yeah. points, and then um, Elizabeth is saying is it, it's fuzzy. Sorry, guys, I'm going to switch you back. back. How do I switch it back? I think a lot of people, they start to use it. Uh, the, a lot of people start to use the internet and then it drops. Is it better, guys? Keep going in and out. I'm really sorry. Is it better now? Maybe if I will move, I will leave it just here. If someone can tell me if it's a good uh, quality, so we can start. Do you need the toilet cost? No. I always do things. <laughs> God, I need some makeup. It's bad lighting. Yeah, it's like your face. <laughs> Guys, can someone reply to us? If it's a good quality. Oh, I think I lost everyone. No, babe, no. It's stuck on shave. Shaving pad. Pad, pad. Oh, okay. But now it's back. Let's it's okay. Go. Right, so I shave the pads, yeah, with a blade 40. And now I'm doing the ears with a blade 10. Yeah, with a blade 10. And I will do the hygienic area with a blade 10. Hard to see anything. I think I have to keep the... I think I have to keep the camera very close uh, to, the, to the router. I just spoke with the people that would change my bloody internet is shit here. Uh, it's not I think very it's, good. He it's not very good, and I think it's a it's an old building, so that's why. So pads, I did the pads, and I do the inside of the ears. Oh, good, good, perfect. And now I'm using the blade ten on the ears, and I will use the blade ten on the on the hygienic area. Yeah. 
So like I said, a schnauzer in England is not classed as a tip. Oh God. But look how big that top is on you. That's oh. massive. It's really tight. It's massive on you. Look how big it is. Who's buying it? She's using my top. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I want one of these. <laughs> like was better, better, Sorry, better my before just the bath. Sorry, the closet and saw it. Night was better before the bath. So now it's good. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm sorry guys, the internet is not really, really good. So, um, right. So I did the ears with Bay 10. Like I said, uh, Schnauzer in America is classed the Terrier. In England it's not classed. I don't know in Europe, in Europe it is classed the Terrier. I don't know exactly. But I like a very clean and tight ears, yeah? Like a terrier style. Like a terrier style, exactly. Right. So when I do, because I use the Blade 7 reverse. I can use a 10 now here, but I will use a, a, a reverse 7, yeah? Right, so when I do the bum, oh, let's try to do the other side. Come on, push that. So I like to just push my finger up to the top part of the ear, because obviously it dips in at the top here, doesn't it? Yes. You have this dip. So I use my forefinger. This dog's a bit of a wally. Yeah, come on, stop it, please. And just push that out. Good girl. Good, go. And way. I just scoop out around the back of the ear there. So can I just have the dog this way a little bit? Yeah. No, this way back. So lift. Oh, well, let me see what I can see. What can I do? Oh, careful. Okay. Flip. So that's the whole ear section clipped. Okay, top, right the way down. Perfect. Now, we'll go with the bum. So I like the bum to look a little bit like, like, um, like a Kerry Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So that's, I used to, I used to do uh, I used to do like normal, so now I do, I'm trying to expose the muscle inside Gosh. and then go reverse into the bum and then I like on the bottom of the, of the tail to be a blade 10 but on the top I like a blade 7. And also with the girls I go with the second nipple Okay, yeah. and with the boys I go in front of the, 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 the willy with like two fingers. When I do it, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, no, same, same. Yeah. It's a good way. I never count with anything before, I just do it, but that's a good idea. So you're going to follow really these, these markings here. So where it's some white, you're going to take yeah. all of this white out and expose that muscle there. So exactly where the first two nipples, I'll stop there. I will go a little bit into the tack up. Because I don't want a lot of uh, hair into the tuck up. Come on, Baba. Yeah? So the. Oh, oh. Sorry, guys. Go on, I'm just going to try and see if I can. Right, why don't you do it like this then? Like how I did it? So we can look what I'm doing, like this. Because I'm, I'm not a filmmaker, so I didn't think. I'd... So what they see is what we see, yeah? Go. Right, so second nipple, and then I go a little bit into the tuck up. And then, from where he bends the knee, yeah, I go reverse into the bum. So where's the rosette? I do just half of rosette and the other half will be padded. And then go straight into the, the tail. And you will give a more elegant uh, backside of a dog. And I will cut the corners also with the tail. So this is why you do the carry, no, Cheryl? Yes, this is exactly what you So you expose you them inside of the leg. Exposing the, the that muscle. muscle. Yeah, give you a more elegant sh uh, finish. But then you have this padded, yeah? Yeah, well a schnauzer should be a sort of muscly, cobby type 
and breathe. So you want to expose the fact that its muscle is there. And then I'll go with the net with a... I wouldn't take a 10 up the back of a Kerry's towel. No, I'd always no, this do... is just on the schnauzer because uh, the schnauzer, they have padding top. Yeah, a 5F um, with a Kerry or a 7 if it's a pet. But as a rule, I generally do a 10. A uh, uh, 5F, sorry. The same way, the second nipple. And I go in into the tuck up a little bit because I don't want a lot of pain into the tuck up. So he's basically thinning the tuck up out from the inside. Exactly. And then, see how nice it looks. Nice and, and smooth and tight. Normally, with the schnauzer, your, your lowest point is where he bends the leg, and then from here is all natural hair. Yep. But it's a pet, so I go right to the hook. Yeah? I do. I don't know how you do it. So you would normally just go to there. So normally go to there, but because it's a pet, I go right to the hook. Cheryl, where are you based? I am based in Rains Park, which is just by Wimbledon in southwest London. SW20. Right, so this is actually, guys, the backside. This dog is actually a really nice little dog. I, I really like her. Yeah? So prep is done. Well, I have to cut her nails actually. We'll cut her nails quickly. And then actually prep is done. Yep. So I have all of these that I just told you. I have to do that in maximum half an hour. And then I have an hour to finish my dog. So I count every minute when I do it. I have a bloody headache, I think, because of my bloody COVID test. Uh, you know, oh uh, yes, pro pretty, probably. Yeah. I had a very bad headache from the COVID vaccine. Uh, well, we'll break when we break after this for lunch. Then we'll go to the chemist and get you some paracetamol. Oh, okay, there we go. He's taking drugs. Sorry, live. Oh, Why watch, him, watch him drink out of this bottle. This is ridiculous. Why would you drink out of a bottle that big? This is my uh, my gym uh, energizer. 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 <laughs> right. So we need a prep. Come on, Baba. Should we put this back? Yes. Flip the camera. Flip the camera. Back in costume. Right. Body. We talk about uh, body shape. Oh, I can't remember if I cut this. Like, uh, nails. No, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, you should be I was sorry. Combing out your matted leg. I really hate cutting nails. Stop it. Sh Cheryl, stop. That makes me feel better about that ear earlier. Did now. you call that dog Cheryl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind the angle, please. Mind the angle. Mind the gap, please. Right, prep is done. Then you just come again all your dog. Kelm. Kelm. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, when you have mats between the pads, uh, between the, is it fingers, how do you call this? Toes. Toes, yeah. I don't attempt to brush them out. I'm just trying to cut them. Yeah, I will use thinners or a little pair of I'll scissors. Use, I, use a, I always use scissors that they're rubbish. Yeah. And uh, I never use my proper scissors, yeah? So you should have a, a so scissor. Why? That's not down to brand people, that's down that to is overuse. Purely because when you cut through a mat, you're going to blunt the scissor. And you're going to cut through grit and dirt that's in that mat. So you want to use a, an old pair of scissors that you wouldn't dream of trimming a dog with. Exactly. And it's most kind, you know, to do that. I can't read that, unfortunately. Is a video resource in zona raso sunt kase kare se iritas. Yeah, I can't read that either. <laughs> uh, das Maria. And that's why I follow Follosesk an antistatic, uh, antiseptic, spray antiseptic. And that's why I spray my rest vara. So uh, Mar uh, Maria was saying, the, saying that uh, there are some dogs that get irritated in the hygienic area. But we talked about earlier that, that we use always, especially summer, we use a hypo uh, hypogenic, uh, antiseptic spray. Yeah. Yeah? 
Well, you do. I've never, but it's a good idea. I it. had, actually, I had a lady, she's not coming to me anymore. I've um, never done it as a preventative. Yeah. It's a good idea. But just summer. So I had a customer with a cocoa pool, and I promise her legs, when she was walking, this muscle was like rubbing. I don't know how. Chafing. Yeah, so chafing. So she got really, really irritated. And uh, I said, I do apologize, never happened. We use the same blade, the pool Maria. We use the same blade, uh, like normal blade 10. It just was really hot outside. We had the bathroom and she got irritated, you know. So uh, she took her to the vet. Uh, I said, I pay for the vet bill, you know, because this is what I do. If it's my fault, I always pay for the vet bill. You know, I prefer to pay than to have the, the nagging, like, oh, the horrible groomers, blah, blah, blah. So I pay for the vet bill. Uh, still was not happy. She was not happy because uh, I put the dogs through stress and I put them through stress also. Uh, I said, I can't do more than that. I said, I'm really sorry, it happened. Uh, she was coming for me like for five years, you know, so she's not like a new customer. She stopped coming anyway. Uh, but you can do as much as you can, you know, apologize, yeah, pay for the vet bill, you explain that happens, you know. Sometimes it... clients get it in their head they want to ruin you for whatever reason. Um, accidents happen, we're only human. And I just think if, as long as you're honest yeah. and you are willing to help pay the bill if you've caused the damage that's all you can do um which is always why it's a good idea to have good insurance in case they do want to take it further thankfully in the 16 years of me having a salon i've never had to claim on my insurance or have a client try and take court action i have claimed on my insurance for one she so. one of my girls do matted oh it was, we, it was an old english sheep dog really matted and they cut the skin with a do matting comb um but that was like a 500 pound bill, so I wasn't gonna just let that come out of my till. But ordinarily, I try not to claim. Yeah, because it's 100, more. 200, because it just puts your premium up. Exactly. So you have to just swallow the fact that it's gonna cost you a couple of hundred pounds and just deal with it and move on. Nine times out of 10, they'll come back. Yeah. If they don't come back, then you don't want that type of client because you're only human and accidents happen. Exactly, so it happened. So that's why I start to use in summer, especially in summer, um, I start to ask uh, as antiseptic spray when I do the hygienic area. Right, so, schnauzer cut. Uh, uh, lots of this trim you will find in poodles, you will find them in all the terrier tree, uh, uh, long leg terrier, you will find them in a cockapoo competition, if you see, because what they do, they do the full leg, they do short body, and they do the back leg short to get, uh, expose the angulation with the, the stifle, local stifle, yeah? So it's the same trim that applied to a lot of breeds, yeah? When you have a poodle with terrier trim, is or the tea trim? Tea trim, yeah. Tea yeah. trim is the same. It's different because you have the, it's a little bit different, but the style, the shape. The shape. Yeah. It's, it's there, yeah. So again, I always start, I, I do use play seven in my schnauzers. <coughs> if I have a schnauzer that have a, a, a nice coat, I might do the blade 10 on the, on the flat work, but not all the time. So. Right, so, come on, Baba. Okay, let's go. Right, from the octopus? Octopus? Oh, I, I call it the occupant. I always did, but I've seen like other. I think it's just, yeah. yeah. If so, some people call it occupant, I call it occupant. Um, it's just how you pronounce it. So I always. That novel at the top of the head, just here, for anybody that doesn't know. The novel. Yeah. The novel. So I call it beginning of the head. Easy. Yeah, well, I said, that's the back of the head. At the back of the head. When, no, I also said that when, when the head meets... Hey! When the head meets the, the neck, is what I said. When the head meets the neck, I start. So I always do my neck. And the reason for that is so you can put the noose... So I can put the noose back, yeah. So when you see here, I will do on the neck. And then I'll put this back. And then I know... I have my dog is secure. Then I go back uh, on the back. You see, when I clip, I always clip like because I don't want to go back and back and back. So I clip that like three, four times in on the same uh, area. portion area. Yeah, because I know I don't need to come back all the time from a. Uh, to redo it, yeah? Because I don't have time, I have an hour and a half to finish the dog. So I always do like two, three times on a... 
on a dog. Because it was blade 10 here, I will do a blade 7 here because I like a little bit of padding on the top of the tail. Do you need a little bit of excess hair where the dip is, when the tail comes up? No, 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 no. No, just padding here. Like, I like it shorter. I did a blade 10 here. And then I know it's in the heat. No, that's, yeah, more like so a, that's more like a Welsh. But really. if your dog has a low tail set, you could. If a dog has a low set, like she has now. You could just, she has a low tail set because she's a bit chubby, but yeah, she does have a low. But you could, if this was a grooming competition, you would fill that gap there in with a little With bit some of hair. hair. So basically, when you, the tail sit like this, it will be a straight line and then bend into the tail, yeah? Right, so you stop. A lot of people, they do the mistake. Um, I learned actually. Um, you know, it's the two fingers from the elbow, I stop there. Like before, I used to go right into the elbow. So what I do now, I stop two fingers above the elbow, and then it's the bridge between the chair, between the shoulder. Uh, shoulder and the tail. Elbow. Because, and the uh, elbow, no. So two fingers above the elbow. Mm -hmm. This is my bridge to create a straight line from the from the shoulder yeah, to the to the leg. In. Otherwise, you go right inside it and you feel like you have like a a sleeve, you know. Sorry, you said tail. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> so I go when I feel when I feel the muscle goes inside. I go straight line and right into the feet. You're just taking off edges, aren't you? Yes, you? I'm taking actually edges. And then when I look from the front, when you see from the front, it's a straight line instead to be inside. So it's like this rather yeah. than rather than to be dipping deep deep in and out. Mm -hmm. With the with the skirt, a lot of people are like they leave the skirt way too high or way too low. Um, I like the American style, so what I do, I take my clipper and I follow the shape of the of the ribs and when it bends and I go down. Make sure it's so I like the skirt to be yeah. under the under the ribs yeah. and under the belly basically. See? So I go straight down, straight down, straight down. Mm. Drago C she says thanks for everything. You're welcome, Dragos. Yeah, so I like the skirt to be really, really elegant and nice, yeah? And then into the tuck up. Down, again, and then into the leg. So you want to create a nice shape into the dog, yeah? And then from the tuck up, where he paints normally the leg, yeah? You go into a V shape, and I expose all this bum. And then from from so when I have the line, and then here I'm just let the clipper to do her job straight line. So I'm blending with my clippers. Skim it. Yeah. Skim it. Yeah. It yeah. Saves a lot of scissoring. Though, Why? Time, also because I don't want to be straight and then bump. Yeah. I want to be a straight line down. Yeah. I used to do that before at the beginning, and also have like a line here. So you have to skim and skim mm. now to hide it. To look like this, actually, how the natural legs grows, yeah. I hate that when you see a big seam around the door; yeah. it just looks so messy. Like and you yeah. see, it looks yeah. so natural. You see, no lines on the skin, yeah. All natural and pretty. This is what you want to achieve from from your. Oh, thank you, Dragos. This is all well amazing. Oh, that's kind of you. Because it's a pet. I go actually, normally you should stop here and from here, all this hair, you should be natural down, yeah? But because it's a pet, I go quite close to the, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, hook, yeah? And I'll go a little bit here. I will do exactly like a, like a terrier more. Because I know no one brushed that hair. But you see, because now I s use blade 7, you see how elegant and pretty looks now the bum, you see? You have short with blade 10 reverse here. And then you have with blade seven, and look how nice it looks. You see, this one makes you different between a, a non groomer that doesn't uh, doesn't educate yourself and a groomer that actually educate and pay for seminars and uh, and uh, 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 seminars. Yeah, no, that's it. yeah. continue, yeah. To, learn. continue yeah. to learn. Yeah, because I never used to do that, but look how nice it looks now. See, really, really pretty, Elizabeth, and that will divide you from other groomers. Elizabeth says, "Thank you for giving your Sunday up for us all. Um, I'm learning so much and picking up so many tips." 
Oh, uh, fabulous. Lovely. You see how here, how thick it is, yeah? And here, how nice and smooth, and look how his side looks, yeah? It was when I did that competition recently, and actually using that technique, it's on a cockapoo, a uh, cavapoo, but using that technique, actually my favourite photo was in the car. Because <laughs> it just looked amazing. Yeah, it looked so, it so good. Right, let's talk about tuck up, let's talk about skirt, and let's talk about what else is the cover. Uh, tuck up, skirt, and chest. And, uh? Chest. Oh, yeah, right, sorry, I didn't finish. Right, with the schnauzer. Because they have a skirt, a lot of people they don't, they do, they take this hair like a terrier, they take all this chest down. Yeah, it's a schnauzer and he has a little bit of padding on the chest, yeah? They are not Welsh terrier, fox terrier, yeah? So I used, to, I, I used to do the same, I used to take all this hair right down under the leg, yeah? So now, what I do, I found what is the chest bone, yeah? And I stuck what is the chest bone. And then from there, I follow the shape of the, of the leg and I go right into the bend of the leg, no? Well, this is his shoulder, yeah. This is yeah. Over, yeah, over the shoulder. So I want to expose... You see, by taking all this hair here, I'm exposing more the chest. Exactly how you do like a spaniel, actually. See, again, we go to a different style. And I just, uh, here I go straight down. I see a lot of people also when they have like a, you know when they have a schnauzer or they have a westie or they have a, um, a, a scotty. When they start with the line here and you see that massive line here. The dog, you need to see three parts of the body. You, see, you need to see the back leg, you see, need to see the skirt, and then you see the front leg, yeah? So they're not related, yeah? You need to see the muscle, that's why, because it's a terrier. You always, that's why the terrier, they show muscle, yeah? But these dogs don't necessarily have a skirt as such, do they? It's more of an, like an underline. Yeah. So it's, it's very minimal. So, um, you don't, why do they create the skirt for? Well, I don't actually know the correct reason, but it's to make the chest appear deeper, maybe? Right, so that also, but also if a dog is very, very short on the body, they, they will have a smaller skirt to create the dog's look longer. Yeah. And if they have a, a, they have long, a long legs. leg, they will leave the skirt a little bit longer and they make the dog to look shorter. Mm -hmm. With a tuck up, if I take this tuck up from here, I will make the dog to look way, way long. Yeah, very Can long you see? Body. See, really long. So they create tuck up to make the dogs to look really, really short. Bring this back leg in. Into the, into the skirt. And the tuck up or the schnauzer should probably start. I, I think tuck up is everywhere. Is everywhere. So yeah. Last rib, in between the last rib, uh, in this, this is the loin, isn't it? It's so loin, it's loin, yeah, no? In the middle of the loin area is where your tuck should start. So normally, you find the last rib, you find the loin, and then you go with your finger, the middle, it's actually where the tuck up start, uh, starts. Uh, so this is the lowest point that you go into the skirt, and this is the longest point, yeah? Or you can like this, you can lift the ear. If it's a boy dog, I think you can also judge it. I'm sure, I'm sure, I remember Amy saying in the seminar once, if it's a boy dog, you can go from just in front of the willy, is where the skirt should start to come down into a Slanted I was like up. searching for the woolly, but I forgot it's a girl. Yes. Is it, so is that to, do you see the tip of the woolly yes. under the skirt then? Okay. So you, if you were looking at it, you'd see it and it'd run, the skirt yeah. would run just yeah. above it. So I think I never know whether you're supposed to see that or whether it's supposed yeah, to hide no, it a little bit. Do you see them? Right, with the skirt, I don't like very, very long skirts, especially. So it should be where in the line with the elbow, yeah? Yeah, Lydia says it gives better proportions to the dog, which is absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. So if you're not sure with the, you find where's the elbow? Maybe a little bit lower than the elbow, maybe. Basically, it's from, actually, it's from this line, from the tuck up, a straight line. So you don't want to be in, in down, it'd be a straight line. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah. She is lovely. Come on, Princess. Good girl. Well, let's finish this here. So you see, because I didn't... Um, 
because I didn't took all this hair from here. You see, I still said, so I will blend it. If you look from, from here, once I take this, will be a straight line. Can you see? If I was going into and take, I will do actually, I will do, let me do. So you can see here, here, I will take this hair from here. Can you do? So it'll be a straight, so you can see. So I will go and I will take this straight. Because I left the bridge here, you can see. It's straight line, yeah? Mm -hmm. But if I will go and I will scoop all of this. <gasps> you took it all out. Oh, costume, what have you done? It's a pet. Oh, no. That's going to grow back out again, though. It's going to look shocking. You've actually broken my heart. Can you see how it changed the shape of the leg completely? Oh. You see? This is what I used to do the same. Now, I have to show them because this is how they will learn, you know? He did this. He they, did this. Doesn't matter. They have to see it because they have, then they will understand yeah, exactly what I'm saying, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. So, you see, so I used to, no, because I used to do the same. I used to, this is how they used to teach me. Go right to the elbow and then scoop out. Yeah? And then you have, like when you put a band on the leg. Can you see? Like this. Yeah. So what I have to do basically now, you have to take more hair from here to create a straight line, but still dips inside. Yeah. yeah? So this is what I don't do now. I don't do that anymore. Oh. How did you discover that you were doing it incorrectly, Costi? Uh, I discovered because, uh, because grooming competition. Grooming competition helped me to understand more the breeds, judging also all the judges that have feedback from them. And the, mm. I actually I learned this from, uh, from uh, Dennis. Dennis Lorraine. Dennis Lorraine. Dennis Lorraine is uh, one of the amazing guys. Uh, he's a uh, vice president of Groom Team of uh, EGA. Yep. So he showed me how to do. You see, I learned from different groomers. So mm -hmm. he learned, he said, two fingers, create the bridge. You know, you, because this is why I used to do my fox terrier. I used to go right yeah. to here and I have like that, like poodle. Because this is actually, actually, this is how you do a poodle, you know? Because the poodle, they said it should be legs under the. Under the, under the chest. Chest. Yeah. Under the, yeah. So this, you, you create. You go short and then you create around it and then under the leg, yeah? But this is not a poodle, this is a, a schnauzer. Right. So I do like to leave a little bit. So, and also now, once I finish my body, so I will go reverse because I don't want to change the blade because so I'm lazy and I don't have the time and my customer is coming in 25 minutes. So you see, I put my hair and I find where is the um, um, eyebrow. Eyebrow. Um, Just like the power bone. And then from here, you have a lot of people say, "Oh, you have the um, um, whisker." The whisker. So you have. You see, sometimes there's you, like a little dimple there. Yeah, the little. So you have one it's under the chin. Here. Look, it's right yeah. one here. That black hair. Yeah, you see, and then you have one. You should have like a. a, a Oh, There's normally one on the side I of the face. Yeah. Excuse me. See that one there, I can feel it there. Yeah, so one here, and then you have one there. But sometimes I, I can't find it, so what I do, I go from the elbow, this is what I do. I go reverse also, because I do like a very tight... Yeah. From the Adam's yes. apple. Yeah. yeah. So I reverse. I go exactly, basically it's under... Under the chin. Yeah, you can actually. I do actually follow the. I stop where is this? You see? Yeah. Where, see, but you do it automatically once you know yeah. where yeah. the area is. You, you automatically. And then I'll go on the cheeks. But you see, the hair here grows like this, and the hair here goes like that. Yeah. So again, I will go down here, and I create another elegant feature on the body. And then I go shorter here, like in a V, like a poodle. Mm. Closer here, and then reverse everything, and then I will scoop straight line. Yeah. Right with the beard, basically, why you set up? This is a little bit wrong setup. The longest point of the beard should be under the eye. Not on the back of the eye, it should be under the eye. She 
is wrong because I have to leave this to grow. But the one uh, she always fighting, you know. So I go right with the chin, cheeks. I go straight line. So it should never dip in. Never. Yeah, never. When you when you see them and they're really short here. That's, That's wrong, yeah, because you need to create a, 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 a square, yeah? So basically, if you think reverse here, well, no, this is 10 actually. I say I quite like using, I use the 10 blade and I often do it when I'm doing the, the outside, um, sorry, the hygiene and all of that, the prep work. I actually do the head at the same time, yeah. so I find that saves me a bit of time later. Right, so on. this is this, this is my clipping area. Actually, sometimes what I do, I pull this because again I'm Sorry, lazy. Wrong way. I do exactly like a Shih Tzu. I just take the place seven, but not taking down the bridges. No, the, the bridges. No, yeah. Now go a little. Come on. I do this for my dogs because I'm lazy and I don't want to use too much scissors in. Yeah? Good idea, I've never done it. And it gives a much cleaner face. Right, so this is my, actually my scissoring, my clipping uh, stuff. So once I finish the clipping, I will start, uh, I will start my scissoring. I always, when I, any dog that I do, I do half of the body complete with the face. Well, Depends on the dog, but mostly if I have a terrier, I'll do the half of the face completely and then I'll move on to the other half completely. You know, I don't do a full body and then start, you know, because I lose some. So I'll do the full body, do the leg, half body, do the leg, and then I'll do a move to the other side. You know, this is how I find that it, it's time uh, sufficient, you know? Oh, see, I don't. I do these two legs, these two legs, then the head. Or if we're doubling up at work, I will do both the back legs, Chris will do the front legs. Yeah. And then one of us will do the head. And we, I do that so that I know that my back legs are going to be the same. So if I've done both back legs, yeah, I, rather than Chris do a back leg, I do a back leg. Yeah, I know. I, we, we, when we do, we do like, I'll do, if I do the front, she does the back, and then I'll move yeah. forth. It's all, yeah. But I, I always do my head last for whatever reason. Just yeah, I do some, I can't say, but it depends, okay, it depends on the mm. dog. Uh, if the, yeah, if the dog of one, I do the last, uh, the leg, I'll do the mm. but the